I'm told there could be several reasons for this. One of them is called nested outages, meaning that your neighbors can have power and you don't after fixing the issue because of potential secondary problems like an overloaded system or unseen damages. The other reason we're told that even if you live in the same neighborhood as somebody, you could be on different electric circuits. Either way, people across our communities tell us they wish the outage map was a little more reliable. We need the light. It's been long and hot days across our city as thousands remain without electricity after Hurricane Barrel. Like what else can you do? Put yourself in survivor mode. It's turn. Yeah, no lights. Into a week of no power for Patricia Taylor in her third ward home on Anita Street. This our area. As she keeps an eye on the center point outage map. They say we have uh, lights, but we don't, so somebody lying. On Napoleon Street in the third ward. Large tree branches were cut from power lines this afternoon, right in front of 84 year old Hamilton Branch's home. I'll be a whole lot better once I can get myself back where I can cook. You know, it's not necessarily that you want your neighbors to be just as miserable as you, but it's so hard just to see that, you know, you're like, they have power, why can't we? Vincent Law lives in the East End. I do feel forgotten because when you're just, when you're being told on the phone that you're just, you know, four or five houses and it's not a priority, it's hard not to feel that way. Feeling frustrated, forgotten, and with no reliable timeline. It makes us look like we're just numbers in the machine versus actual humans. Centerpoint says 14,000 crew members are working 16 hour shifts to restore power for families across our area. To see the uh, Centerpoint trucks riding through here and then your life's still not on. That's the first important part. Frustration they hope ends soon. Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.